Hello, I'm Zat Survivor. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to live in a very, very small spaces. So I built uh, a few rooms like this, a few little small houses. This could be anything. This could be a toilet, you know, outside, inside, a small, very small room that you want to make your base. I don't know why you would do that, but if you want to do it, I'll teach you how. So you want to stick as many things as possible inside. How do you do that? Let's start with a small one by one cube. So what you don't want to do is if you want a chair, and of course you would want a chair, so you can sleep on it. If you build a chair, you can't go inside. What, what do you do? Well, you need to bring a chair. So yeah, I have a chair right here. You bring one and now you can walk inside. But that's just a chair. Where's my storage? Here we go. Double shelves. That's the only thing you can build. You have basic 15 storage and a chair. This door doesn't have to be a door. You can make a wall like this. You can make a wall and just jump over it. And there's your uh, one by one base. It's just one by one. You get what you pay for. Okay. Now we have a two by one. In a two by one, what you can do is build crates now. Three crates, stack them up. You have a lot of space right now, depends on your carpentry level. Same as usual. Bring a chair, make double shelves. There you have it. You have much more space and you can sleep. Next is a L shaped three by one. In a three by one, if you build a crate here, like so, and you want more crates, you build them here. You can't access those crates. How do you access those crates? I'll teach you. Put a wall frame over there. Shift inside. Boom. You have six crates. And you can just sprint out. Same as usual. Put a chair at the door. You want to put it at the door. Because when you put it at the door, uh, you can move inside and it's not interfering with you. You can walk all over it. Now, of course, as usual, you put double shelves here because that's the only thing you can put. And it has no small space. You can put basic stuff here, like maybe your armor and weapons that you want to go out with, I guess. And yeah, you can build a door if you want in any of these. You can build a roof if you build stairs and all that. But yeah, I don't advise you making very small bases, but it is what it is if you want to have it. There you go. With a two by one, this this is much easier. You just build crates like like this everywhere. You just build them like all around, and make sure that your entry point is uh, next to a wall from this side or that side, so you can build shelves. You you can't build shelves on a wall here. You can only build them like this, as you can see. So you want to build them here, and you, as usual, you bring a chair, put it here. And there you go. That's pretty much the best you can do. And you have a lot of storage too. So this is this is okay for a 2x2. Two two. Uh, uh, bases in multiplayer like this are pretty good because they're low profile. Make sure not to build up. Because you can see them above trees. You can see them from a longer, bigger distance. This is pretty much the best you can do. If you want to hide your base in multiplayer, you don't even need to build walls. Because... Walls are not going to stop anyone. Here we have a 3x2. This is a challenge for some people. Because they, they will waste space. We won't. I promise you that we won't. We'll make sure that we have enough. So some people do it like this. And maybe they put like a chair. We're going to put a fridge here. You can put a generator outside. Put a wooden crate here. Now you want to access everything. You, of course, you build the wall frame. You go inside. There's your fridge. And, of course, you put the chair here. Which I don't have, so I'm going to steal it from here. There we go. Same as usual. Put the chair. You will have, as well, your double shelves here. And there you go. You can enter this. Access everything else. Go out. And if you want to build a door you can you can just jump and do whatever now you can also get a generator so we're gonna get a generator there's our generator you can put a generator if you want to power up the fridge you don't have to I mean 
you can build crates instead of this fridge. But for example, this base design is pretty good. You can do with um, do with this with other base designs, but the fridge is wasting a lot of space because it's huge. It only has 40 slots, just like the crates, plus 20 in the freezer. And with the crates, you can have 120 space, and with this only you have 60. But it does refrigerate your food, so if you want to refrigerate your food. But, of course, if you would build this in multiplayer, you don't have to refrigerate your food. You can just loot food. It's very common in most servers. It's easy to find food, especially if you're a solo player. Oh yeah, one more tip that I forgot to mention. If you want to cook for any reason, I don't know why, you can put a microwave on your crate. Just destroy one or don't, don't build one. Now you can have a microwave, and if you power it up with a generator, you can actually use it. And if you want to purify water, cook meat or something, if you're living in a forest, you can have a microwave. But I, I, I really don't think you would need one. There's so much food in the world, there's so much, like, non-perishables, you don't need to cook at all. Especially if you're living in a 2x3. Two by, two by uh, I don't think living lavishly is something you should be considering. <laughs> and now it's time for the tip of the video. You can open curtains from outside as well. Hold shift and left click on it and you will open it. Now you can see if there's zombies inside. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Comment down below what you want to see next and I will see you all in my next video.